The chapter begins with a guy who is apparently a whale hunter. On the boat there is a gigantic harpoon with which they catch whales weighing up to a ton. The guy says that his greatest fantasy is to use this weapon against humans. He says that possibly a human would be unrecognizable after being hit with this weapon. The guy says that, unfortunately, that fantasy is nothing more than a dream and will never be possible. Just then General Stratum shows up and tells him that he knows a guy tougher than any whale. Stratum says, Tonight I'm going to introduce you to a man who is wilder than any sea animal you've ever hunted before. You'll even get to test that weapon of yours against him. The guy quickly refuses and says that's nonsense. Are you drunk? Of course I'm not going to use this against a human. Despite that little argument, the two wait for nightfall, at which point Yujiro appears. As usual for Mythagaki, in a couple of pages he reminds us how strong and manly Yujiro is. The guy started sweating and trembling as he saw Yujiro approaching. The ogre approached him and asked him if he had made up his mind yet. Are you going to use that against me or should I assume your death? If that's the case, I'll have to assume you're a corpse, since dead people don't talk or hear. The guy froze at these words and had no choice but to accept. He accepted by force, but it was also his fantasy to use that weapon against a human, so it was a win-win after all. The ogre got into his classic attack stance while the other guy prepared to fire the harpoon. Yujiro told him to aim at his chest and shoot without hesitation. The chapter ends with that guy firing the harpoon and Yujiro getting hit with that gun. I really don't know what the point of this is, I mean, on one hand, I'm glad to see Yujiro again, but I asked you guys. Is it necessary to see Yujiro showing how strong he is every time he appears? We all know that Yujiro can even dance in fire if he wants to, so these shows of strength are a waste of time. Ithagaki insists on showing us how strong and manly Yujiro is. We'll probably have another 10 chapters of filler until Itagaki decides to start the next arc, which means several months of boring chapters. But hey, by now, we should be used to it. By the way, this chapter was released on Wednesday. Usually the manga chapters are released on Mondays. I don't know if from now on the chapters will be released on Wednesdays or if it was just for this occasion. Anyway, don't forget to leave me your opinion in the comment box. Tell me what you thought of this chapter and tell me what you think will happen in the next chapter. And well, friends, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. I hope you have a nice day or night. See you soon.